Hi and welcome to a tutorial on the idyllic die sets. You've been asking how to use these particular dies, okay? You do get all the dies in this collection that you need, 10 dies in total, to make all your shaped cards with no problem at all. You've also got your embossing folder in there. So let's go ahead and start to use them. Now you do get a die like this, it's got straight on one side and then your decorative centre in the middle. These straight bits are going to emboss where this bit here is going to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this on a shop bought card and we're going to tape it straight down that centre panel. So just tape it down and then we're going to run that through the die machine. So place it on your plates. Make sure that you're not overhanging your plates because you don't want to bend your die. Place your top plate on and run that through your machine. So that, as I say, this is going to emboss the two sides. It's going to cut that centre panel so you can now do a fold back. So let's take all that away. And this now will fold back on itself. So you've got the shape still, but you've got the beautiful fold back at the front. So let's put that to one side. We're going to take now just some cream cardstock and you get your inside dies as well as your outside dies so inside edge now you will remember I always cut my dies separately so outside edge first and run that one through and this is going to be my centre panel don't worry about cracking absolutely normal so take that one out so that's going to be my centre panel and we're now going to put the decorative detail within that. So centralise your die, tape it down and run that one through. So this is going to cut all that beautiful detail in there, all the trellis in that middle panel. So you can emboss if you want, want to but in this instance we're not going to bother. Let's take all those bits out of there and you can see now you've got your center decorative panel so let's place that to one side we're going to do all the cutting and then we're going to put it together so the next one we're going to do brown and we're going to use the other edge on this one you've got the cut that follows all the way through so i'm going to place that to the side and take that down and i'm going to cut that one so run that one through, all of the way, take it away and you've got your pattern on one side. We're now going to take the blue and we're going to do exactly the same. So edge on there and cut that one out. And then we're going to add the biggest die of the collection, which is going to go down the centre. It's going to give you your pattern on the top and the bottom. So take that one off. So the biggest die in the collection is this big die here. So we have this beautiful strap on both sides. We're going to place it in the emboss line. You'll see this little emboss line there. Take that one down. And we're going to cut that one out. So all the way through. And that's going to cut the design on the top and the bottom. So just take all your bits out. So now we need to use that outside edge yet again to cut the opposite side. So just make sure you've got the right die. Place in your outside edge where it should be and tape it down and now we can run that one through. So that is all my die cutting and then we just need to use the embossing folder. So we now have our centre panel cut all the way around perfectly. Let's put that to one side. Let's remove that board and bring the other board 
into play because now we're going to use our embossing folder. So I've already cut my mat and layer that's going to fit perfectly into that centre panel and we need to use that lovely embossing folder. So this is the gorgeous embossing folder. I'm going to place my, oh let's go, let's, let's just measure that shall we? So let's measure it to make sure we're right. So let's just place that in situ where it's going to sit. So my line is going to come down there. So I'm going to take my embossing folder. I'm going to slide it over. I'm going to sit it so the embossing line comes all the way down there. So once this is in place, take it away. And we're going to run that through the embossing machine. So this is going to give you your embossed section. So you've now got all your beautiful emboss all the way down. So let's get rid of all this matte business and start to construct this card. So let's stick this down. So all the way around there. So that's going to sit into the centre of there. This is then going to go inside my card after I've done the front. So this we're going to stick so it's got a slight stagger at both sides. So literally apply your adhesive all the way around and have your scissors at the ready. Okay because we're going to stagger that at that side. But I'm going to take my scissors because I want a straight edge and I'm going to undercut and I'm going to undercut all the way down so that now let's pull that back there we go a tad more I have got the brown showing at one side and none on the other side so this is going to go down the center like so and don't worry that it's overhanging because we're going to chop that in a minute so let's stick that on so all the adhesive on there we're going to place that where it wants to go it's going to match perfectly because it's the outside edge so just make sure all your wrinkles are all together we're now going to add the mat so just be careful because that's still still wet. Now you're going to position this so that your emboss line follows all the way down. So let's just pop that on there. Now when you turn this over, you have your line to follow. So go in with your scissors. And you'll take a lot more care at home. But just follow the line all the way around there. And I'm going to come in at the bottom and go in that side all the way around. I mean, obviously, if you're using a plain card, you're not going to have to mess about like that. But now the top of your card follows the bottom of your card. Your centre panel will fit perfectly in the centre. So just add, just take off the excess so it doesn't seep through. That's going to fit perfectly into the centre there. So that's, that's right, so it opens that way. I have some beautiful little flowers we're just going to place in there as well. So we've got a flower coming up that side, a flower coming up the other side and then all I would do now is go ahead and stick a little bow just onto the bottom there 
maybe some ribbon down the side here. But that is how you can use the idyllics. This is just an 8x8 shop book card. But now you've transformed it into a, a beautiful little card. Hope you enjoy.